where old-fashioned romance meets modern-day technology. Where you hear all the intimate details of a first date. And now, here is our host, Chuck Fuller. All right, I'm Johnny Gale. Thank you. Thanks very much. Group here today. Thank you. Let's get started by meeting our first. Our next guest admits that men aren't crazy about her conversation topics or the way she behaves in restaurants. And she claims that when she really likes a man, she always shows him her doll Lucy. Lucille. Her doll. Please welcome Karen Plaskin. <laughs> Oh, thank you. What's this doll, Luce Lucille, that you have? What kind of doll? It's not... Okay, I'll it's just Lucille. let you It's Lucille. She's a darling little gorilla with a big pink heart right on her chest. Ah. She's so cute, and I just think she's darling. So you show her to all your friends? All my dates. Your gorilla Lucille. Yeah. Mm. You talk to Lucille? Yes. Yeah? I mean, do you actually have regular, real conversations with her? Like, how you doing, Lucille? <laughs> How's your day been going today? If and... I said yes, you'll send me to psychotherapy. So let's just say, uh, occasionally I'll say hello. <laughs> well, what do you talk about on a date? Well, if I'm having a really good time, I'm generally listening to them, and I want to hear all about them, and what, uh, what I do for a living, what they do, what mm -hmm. makes them interesting to me, what I could... How just I normal could conversation. Everyday normal conversation. Yeah. But when I get bored, uh, I have to admit, I have this fascination with skincare and skincare products, and I buy a lot of skincare products, and I return a lot of skincare products, and I have my whole bathroom is skincare products, and I think it's fascinating. So you're just uh, scoping a guy's, you're looking for every pit in this guy's face is what you're doing, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, man that Karen had to choose from. Now, remember, you're going to pick the man that you think's best for her. Here we go. First, there's Dwayne. He's an identical twin. He's working on a degree in business administration, and he says that he's not attracted to women with what he calls skinny hair. And here's how he treats a woman that he's attracted to. I maybe send her like a little pink rose, you know, just remind her, you know, hey, you know, I was thinking of you today, you know, just, just, you know, little things like that. You know, if, if a person is feeling kind down the dumps, I'll maybe send them a rose, you know, I mean, bringing up their, you know, spirits a little bit. Next, we got Brad. He's originally from Detroit. He claims that he's an absolute whiz at cleaning house. He says that he's really anxious to get married, and uh, this is one of the reasons why. I love kids. You know, I'm waiting for the day that I'll have one of my own or two or whatever, you know. Because um, I'm, I'm real playful. I like to teach them. Um, I enjoy kids a lot. <laughs> You'll get your chance. Finally, Stephen enjoys playing the guitar and sailing, but his favorite pastime is being head over heels in love. Says that he's attracted to uh, women who are sultry, seductive, strong-willed. And here's another trait that he looks for in a woman. I want a woman who likes me, not a woman who needs me. A woman who wants to be around me because she has fun, because we go out and we have a good time together, and because she's attracted to me, because, you know, when she thinks about me, she gets excited. But not, boy, you know... If I didn't have him, I'd be alone, and, and I don't want to be alone. And I... <laughs> All right, there you go. Those are the three men that Karen had to choose from. Who do you think would be the best man for her? Well, it sounds like the twos have it. Everybody's out there yelling, too. We'll find out. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll meet the man that Karen selected, hear everything that happened on their date. We'll do it in two and two. Be right back. Chose Brad. Chose Brad. Number two. Good. Yeah, I got a feeling we may have done that too. Uh, they haven't seen each other. We always hear both sides. Say hello to Brad Wiley. Hello, Brad. How you doing, Chuck? I'm doing just fine. Just make yourself at home back there. Welcome to the show. And here we go. That. Brad came over, uh -huh. and he had a very nice bottle of champagne with him, which I thought was awfully nice. Good. It was my favorite kind. This is good. So he came in, uh -huh. uh, although yeah. he looked a little bit older than he did on the video. And I had to admit, his skin wasn't in the best shape. Oh, dear. Oh. And you know how I am about skin. 
So, anyway. Send Brad right to Aida Tibion, boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> Play a lot of tennis, Chuck. I mean, the sun quite a bit. I know. Yeah. Well, how did she look to you, Brad? Uh, I wasn't really impressed that much. Uh, kind of run of the mill. I was hoping for somebody a little more glamorous, uh, sexy, in my eyes. Okay. Well, see, I think you're both kind of attractive people. Actually, I, I, it's not, neither one of you are bad looking. Thank uh, you. Plus, you have such good skin. <laughs> oh, thank uh, you, Chuck. So well, now what happened? We went out to a restaurant, which I chose. And yeah, and how then was we, dinner well, go? we had our, our, you know, our dinner, and Brad was talking, and I will say, Brad was talking a lot. I don't remember a lot about what he said. And I have to admit, though, towards... You don't remember any to topics of conversation? A little bit about the job, and he liked to watch TV, and he liked to watch TV on his job, and liked to watch TV the whole time he was at his job. Uh, but we both could agree we Some both player, watched... I'm sure, is going to be very thrilled to hear that. <laughs> but we both could agree on that we both try and watch Love Connection at 7 and 11.30. Oh, no, please, don't do that. No, no. Everybody out there is going to think I ask you to do that. No, and just because didn't. I said, please do that, <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> so but, now what? Uh, well, I have to admit, though, towards in the dinner, I did start talking about the skincare products because just that day. Well, it sounds like you're selling I... these things. No, Do you sell no, them? No, I don't. I'm just interested. Well, now, how much skincare did she get into here, Brad? Oh, Chuck, you wouldn't believe it. I mean, <laughs> she goes Is she doing facial it. peels and the whole shot on you there? She's got the whole works. Uh, yeah. She went out and spent a couple hundred bucks that day on uh, some new type of skincare product that has uh, lamb embryos. Lamb embryos? Yeah, I thought we were going to have uh, Greek food or something. <laughs> Ooh, lamb embryos. Yeah, so then we decide we're going to take a little walk because we're in a trendy part of town. Trendy. Uh, yeah, and we go into a few stores where they have a lot of dolls. A lot of and, skin care products. Uh, well, so, no, she didn't yeah. put you through that. No, she oh, didn't yeah. walk you down the aisle. Can't tear skin. away from that stuff, Chuck. <laughs> you did, did life. you really? Well, just a little bit. Oh. I thought he didn't mind. He seemed to like the massage oils. I like that stuff, oils yeah, well, and lotions. Different. If it was leading up to a massage, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well now, what, now what happens? You get through all the trendy shops. And yeah, things. and it's kind of time to get the car. Yeah. So as we're waiting for the car, Brad turns to me with that look in his eye, which... What is that look that in his look eye? That look of... Oh, my God, I, I want to kiss you. And then my mind says, terror is about to strike. No, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Why did you want to kiss her if you really weren't interested, Brad? Uh, you know how it goes. Give her the old college try. Well, yeah. Let's see how it's going. <laughs> old college. <laughs> the old college try for what? <laughs> I mean, if you're not even interested. Hey, like they say, you know, why do you climb mountains? Because it's there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, how did she react to it? Oh, Chuck, it was like uh, I had 10,000 volts at the end of my lips. I mean, she just jumped back and said, hey, wait, you know, you're messing up my lipstick. You know? I did, did you say you're messing up I my really lipstick? I really did. You're kidding. And then you admitted it. I did. <laughs> well, now what happened after the, well, after the electrifying kiss? The electrifying kiss. We uh, went to a couple of bars to see if we could go and see some music or watch some people play in bands. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I, just, I don't have this happen, but Brad decided as we were in this one bar that he wanted to show me the dart game. There was she inquired about game. it, Chuck. I, I, I told I did, her I throw darts frequently. I know, what, you know right. how and the game he, is played. He does. And he said he had darts in his car, which darts I thought... Darts in your car. Yeah, which was a little shake, could be a little shaky if he didn't like me. You know, those black windows and everything. Well, yeah. But anyway, so he starts telling me all about darts and what all these little things mean, the little holes and where you throw it. Did you it care? And, no, not really. Well, see, that's how you talk about the skincare junk. Oh. Because you see, it's kind of tip for tap. I see. I see. Well, you see, yeah, sure. I mean, you know. We tolerated. You tolerated each other, kind of. I guess. Well, so let's, we, we let's got back in the car. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Yeah, we got to end now because oh, we, we have do? to go home. Oh, we do? <laughs> We're real close. Okay. Let's take a look and see the okay. audience because I know where you're going. Nowhere. <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, this date went no place, unfortunately. And see, they thought he was good. I heard you all yelling out, too. Uh -oh. They picked Brad at 64%, he and you had a bad day. Well, well, I think you're both nice yeah, people. Yeah, he was a very nice guy. We yeah. just didn't have a love connection. Brad, sorry if things didn't work out. Yeah. Maybe we'll see you uh, on a better date sometime. I'd like that. Yeah, and... Hopefully, maybe you too, Karen. Okay. Thanks for coming on the Thank show. You. We enjoyed having both of you. Going to come right back with our next guest. Get you. See you.